That was Donald Trump Jr's own little masterpiece there. He released the video on his Twitter page and titled it Bye Bye Liz Cheney. On the bright side, at least you won't have to pretend to be from Wyoming anymore. The video featured a montage of his father Donald Trump doing his signature dancing at various events. It was coupled with the song Na 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 Hey Hey A hey, Goodbye, which was made even more famous from the movie Remember the Titans. This all comes after news today that Liz Cheney is no longer a member of Congress. She was easily defeated by attorney Harriet Hagman in the Republican primary for Wyoming's sole congressional seat. This was truly an election to watch, as early results had shown that Cheney was trailing Hagman by 30 points. Liz Cheney has represented Wyoming in Congress since 2017, but her tenure has come to an abrupt end. It is a huge win for the Trumps, though, as they have publicly condemned her ever since she was one in 10 Republicans who voted to impeach the former president following the January 6 Capitol riots. This move and the public display of criticism from the Trump family angered Wyoming residents. Donald Trump endorsed Harriet Hagman, which as we know has been a bit of a golden ticket in the primary races this year. His son's video was met with enthusiasm from people who were gunning for Cheney's loss. One person wrote, priceless. Another wrote, couldn't be happier to say goodbye. OMG, I can't quit watching, love it. Finally, best video ever. Trump's hand-picked challenger, Harriet Hagman, and now Cheney defeater, joined Fox News once the race was called. We started this a, a year ago or about 11 months ago and here we are with all of the hard work and the support of the great people across the state of Wyoming and all of our volunteers and supporters, we've been able to succeed. When I was lucky enough to spend quite a bit of time in Wyoming in July, the things that I heard most often from folks there were inability to get workers, the cost of fuel and the cost of just basic living, rent and food. No one was focusing on Trump. That I, I, mean, I don't think anyone I talked to, that wasn't top of mind. No, inflation, illegal immigration, and protection of our energy jobs are the issues that are the most important to Wyoming. And accountability. We actually expect our representatives to represent our interests. I've said that a couple of times now, but that's what I heard so much on the campaign trail. So uh, I'm excited. Thank you for having us. It's a, it's a wonderful evening.